100 years ago, in rural Kansas, a girl named Helen came home from her one-room schoolhouse with blood on her hands. Using a ruler, her teacher had beaten her knuckles. What was her crime? Helen, my great-grandmother, had the pure audacity to write with her left hand. Her father was the sheriff in town, and as you can see from where he wore his holster during this prohibition bust, he was also left-handed, and he wasn't happy. He spoke with the teacher, and the beating stopped. Years later, Helen's left-handed son had to do the same thing, go to the school and ask the teacher to stop holding his daughter's left hand behind her back as she learned to write. When I went to kindergarten, I drew my first Thanksgiving turkey. It looked something like this. Picking up the pencil with my left hand, I traced my right. It was natural. Sure, my turkey was backwards from everyone else's, but no one hit me. Unlike my mom, my dad, my aunts, I wasn't forced to use my right hand, but I've always known my hand preference makes me a little bit different. As I've navigated through my life in a world that feels backwards, I've become well aware that the world is not set up for left-handedness. This manifests in language and how we design things, and even in how we treat and perceive each other. For thousands of years, it's been clear that right is right and left is wrong. Preference for right-handedness is embedded in language. I'm a bad dancer, but why do I have to explain that by saying I have two left feet? In Latin, the word for right is dexter, which is the root for the word dexterous. Thus, the term ambidextrous means both right, meaning you're lucky enough to have two right hands. The Latin word for left is sinister. In 1936, this delightful book was published with the intention of eradicating the handicap of left-handedness, a disease equally as severe as rickets or pneumonia. The author declared, the world must stamp out the curse of left-handedness, a condition caused by parental indifference. This was not a new idea. I've noticed no one in the Bible seems to want to sit at the left hand of God. Left-handedness has been considered a sign of the devil, an indication of deviant character, a trait of someone who's just not right. These are superstitions, sure, but in the 20th century, scientists began to make them real. In the late 80s, a study warned of a link between left-handedness and shorter life expectancy, finding that right-handed people live nine years longer on average. Despite flaws in the study, another journal article concluded that the finding is not unexpected, as left-handedness is associated with irregularities um, in, in, like alcoholism, smoking, breast cancer, and neurologic disorders. In 1988, the Washington Post asked our nation if we wanted to risk being led by the left hand of George H.W. Bush. Citing recent literature, the author cautioned that left-handedness is associated with irregularities in a person's capabilities. Bush has problems in syntax and word orders. His speech can be torturous, marred by ludicrous slips. But in the 1992 election, we had no choice. We were forced to decide which left-handed president we wanted because all three candidates were lefties. <laughs> this was also the case in 2008 when we had to choose whether John McCain or Barack Obama would raise their non-dominant hand to swear the presidential oath. Apparently, all men, all of these men had indifferent, indifferent parents who failed to beat the left-handedness out of them. <laughs> In spite of efforts to cure this disease, 10% of us still suffer. And actually, to the chagrin of teachers armed with rulers everywhere, the percentage of the population that naturally prefers their left hand has remained unchanged for millennia. We know this from archeological evidence like Argentina's Cueva de los Manos, Cave of the Hands. Just like my Thanksgiving turkeys, people made these drawings by tracing their non-dominant hands. There are thousands of tracings and 90% of them are of left hands. So if left-handedness is so deviant, so dangerous to our health, why has it persisted all these years? Is there some sort of advantage that keeps us around? The answer may lie in our brains. Humans are uniquely lateralized. One side of the brain controls the opposite side of the body. Right-handed people have Broca's area, the structure that processes languages and the language and other cognitive tasks, on the left side of their brain. People like me tend to have it spread across both hemispheres, and this flexibility is thought to provide an advantage in terms of processing and creativity. Today, scientists have tired of speculating on the deficiencies of the left-handed, which has given them time to explore how this trait may support cognition and develop resourcefulness. Right-handed scissors are the bane of my existence, but figuring out how to make them work was a puzzle that challenged my problem-solving skills and fine motor control. <laughs> In school, nothing struck more terror into my deviant, sinister, left-handed heart than the sight of these desks. I remember taking the ACT with my arm hooked around the wrong side, leaning over awkwardly as I filled in bubble after bubble, shaking out my sore elbow during the four-hour test. 
If I was lucky, the lecture hall would have a few left-handed desks for freaks like me to fight over. <laughs> After the test, I'd admire the layer of graphite built by, up by my number two pencil. Enterprising lefties have actually created sleeves to protect their hands from ink smears and dry erase markers. Yes, these inconveniences are small, but they are daily, and it adds up. Life can feel like an obstacle course, and this provides me with so many opportunities to problem solve and adapt. Left-handed people may be in the minority, but their differences have allowed them to make outsized contributions to the world. Lefties are overrepresented in the realms of politics, art, and music. It makes me wonder, what else could we celebrate if we could move past our natural differences and accept people for the way they are? While I've highlighted the challenges faced by lefties, it's not all bad. This is Lefties, my favorite store in the world. Here you can buy left-handed scissors, notebooks, left-handed coffee mugs, the inside of the store is covered with pictures of famous lefties. They're running a Valentine's Day special this week on shirts that say, lefties do it right. <laughs> I love to crochet, and I make things like hand puppets. Don't worry, they're usable with either hand. I was recently asked to teach a crochet class, and the night before I woke up in a cold sweat. It dawned on me, I would have to reverse every movement, movement to teach my right-handed students. I ended up pulling in my right-handed best friend for backup. Throughout history, Handedness has been used to divide us, to force us to take sides, to say that being different is a bad thing. But as I learned from my crochet class, it takes us all. And our differences should be celebrated. Dexterous or sinister, right or left, we each have a hand in what makes the world great. Thank you.